When we think of Venice, we think perhaps of the most romantic city in the world. We think of the carnival, we think of the palaces, and of course we think of the canals. Uh, in our mind, the canals have an incredible romanticism and an incredible history in the city of the lagoons. Uh, we think of them as the place where uh, men and women romanced each other, where they sailed easily along these canals and went and visiting each other by taking little gondolas from house to house. Nevertheless, Venice is and has always been a large city with its own particular needs that are just as the needs of the city where you live in. For example, aside from transport of people, there needs to be transport of goods um, and packages and ambulances and garbage service. And in Venice, this is all done through the canals. This is a typical example here. I'm standing in front of this fabulous church, centuries old, where there has been very recently a concert. So this is all the equipment of the musicians and the, the woofers and the subwoofers and the speakers and the scaffolding for the seating and for the lights and the whole thing, an entire performance. This is in an island in Venice, surrounded by canals, as you can see from there and from there. So how do these things get over here? They get over here by one of the hundreds and hundreds of barges, of transport barges, such as this one, that exist in Venice exactly for this purpose, lugging stuff in and out of the city. This, is, this particular one also has a winch that takes the stuff from the, the tugboat and puts it over there. Here is another one by coincidence, another one that's passing in front of it, that if you can see right over here, it has a little bulldozer over here to excavate. Because when something happens and they need to excavate something, they need to get a little earth moving equipment. And this guy is responsible for getting this earth moving equipment from the canal to your backyard to move the earth. So th there we go. These guys are now ready to load some more stuff. So if you can see the crane is moving and then there's a rope hanging from the crane and he's gonna move it here and one by one they will remove all this stuff that they brought here for the concert. Um, you take it, you name it, everything, recycling, Amazon packages, everything that you see happening in and, in, in and out of your city here happens through boats, through these sturdy, powerful tugboats with tremendous control that move in and out of the canals of the city to do the transportation services. Um, it's a lot of fun to watch these things. One of the most amazing sights of this kind, I was gonna help this guy because his rope got tangled on the, on the banister of the canal, but I think he made it. Oh, there's another guy that's transporting sacks of cement. Okay, so this is a fairly large canal, and so they use it for these kind of heavy-duty transport services. But eventually, if you live in a small street, you may need a sack of cement, and one of these guys is bound to, to bring it. You notice that I said if you, if you live in a small street, what I meant is in a small, narrow canal. Uh, there is a typical taxi as well, going up and down, that you can hire to take you wherever you want. And there's also scheduled bus service. By bus, of course, we're talking about the famous Vaporetto, of, um, of Venice, which is simply, uh, Vaporetto means a small boat, Vapore, Vaporetto. Um, so that's how all these things occur. One of the most fascinating things that I saw once, I was lucky enough to see, I was walking in Venice as I do right now without any kind of particular purpose or plan at all, just being happy to be lost through these bridges and these these canals and these and these streets and these wonderful historic buildings. So once I was <laughs> I was walking in front of a hospital and an emergency room. Of course, the hospital and the emergency rooms, if you think about it, were right in front of a canal. Because if you're going to be bringing somebody in an emergency condition, you're not going to be wheeling them um, through these narrow, narrow streets. Uh, and up and down the bridges. You have to bring them by boat. So um, that's what they do, that's what they do. So the ambulance in Venice, if you want, is a boat, specially equipped 
with life serving services. And when this particular boat goes, arrives in front of the emergency room, which is in front of the canal, they just take the patient uh, and, and move him up to the hospital and there he's treated for ambulatory services. Another thing that I want to show you here is what happens when you have a house that has no sidewalk in front of it, like this particular one right over here. It has absolutely no sidewalk in front of it. It's just, there's just canal here and canal there. So how do you go to your front door? What you do is you have a private bridge, just like the one I'm on right now. As you can see here, I'm on a private bridge. There's water on this side and on this side. So this guy has, in order to get to his house, he had at some point, many centuries ago, had somebody built a private bridge to get him over the canal. I'm gonna go down the bridge on the other side and you'll see exactly what I mean. And this is actually a private bridge that I just realized now I should not even be on because it's theirs. You see this bridge has absolutely no banisters at all and it just goes from the public sidewalk where I'm on right now over the, the lovely canal to the front door of these people who also have their boat right there and a couple of little steps to get them to their boat. So Venice is therefore a magical city for so many reasons aside from its beauty but also beautiful because of the amazing solutions that have evolved through centuries and centuries and centuries of how to cope with the particular urban problems and needs of a city that is effectively um, a sequence of islands, an archipelago connected together through bridges and floating on pylons of wood. Uh, here is again the private bridge that I was talking about before. As you can see, it just it's a tiny, tiny little bridge. It's always vaulted, so the boats can go underneath it, and the gondoliers can go underneath it standing, and this one just leads to one door, as I showed you. This particular bridge that I'm on right now uh, seems to be finishing on a dark tunnel, and this is a public way, so the bridge is public, and this tunnel is public. And what it is, is it actually goes underneath this house. It's a house with a balcony right in front of me, touching distance. And this tunnel goes through the building. There's apartments here and apartments on the other side of the building. But be in order to let the public actually pass and have a network of roads, they have created this tunnel that goes through the building. So we're going to go down this little tunnel and you'll see what I mean if you've never been here before. So here it is. Uh, and so above us there are people's bedrooms okay and you can see it's wood beams very very ancient wood beams that are um, that are supporting uh, the apartments upstairs and then over here we have the various doors okay the front doors for the people houses and then if we walk through this is basically a street okay and if we walk through we arrive in a crossroads where we can either go left, it's actually a dead end, or right, which is also a dead end, with windows of the various apartments that we saw over there on the front. And then we have a continuation, another one of these tunnel streets, and you see pedestrians are walking by, this is public, um, and to take us, hopefully, <laughs> because I don't really know where I'm going, hopefully to some larger place where I'm not always going to be feeling like I'm underground. And here is, for example, a very long um, um, street, but there's construction there because Venice is constantly falling apart. But on this side, it looks promising, and there's a bridge on that side, and I'm going to follow that. Um, so imagine this, imagine all the problems that your particular town or city has, uh, the potholes on the streets and all those different things um, that plague cities nowadays. And imagine now that the city is actually in a lagoon, inundated by water, very often flooded, um, with sea winds uh, and fog constantly present. Uh, this city is Venice. And imagine all the care you would have to take to keep this city standing. It's very hard to keep um, walls. That's why you have these beautiful textured brick walls and stone walls in, in Venice because it's very difficult to keep color um, or to cover the roads with some kind of cement. So most often, more often than not, you have these gorgeous old brick sides of the buildings. Um, the bridges can be made by different materials and we just arrived on one that is actually a, 
um, an iron bridge, a metal bridge, and here you'll see it. This is it. You can see that it's been, it's a foundry, it's a iron that was poured and created these shapes, and then they put it together and they built this pretty bridge that you can see here with these wonderful designs. It's actually, the light is better for me to show it to you from here. So it's this very, very classical Renaissance designs for this bridge. Um, so this happens to be um, a metal bridge, and as a metal bridge, it has a thinner profile, um, and it's also very, very strong, perhaps more expensive than building with stone. Um, and now this is a typical little na relatively narrow canal and we'll see what we'll learn from this one. If you look from this side, there are, the canal keeps going and going and going, there are no sidewalks, so I cannot actually walk on this street. So these people either are served by boat to the front door of their houses or the houses have another entrance on the other side of the block and they can enter the houses from the other side. So either or or both. Um, and this long, long canal, I'm tempted to say street, but it's a canal, this long, long canal is actually intercepted by bridges instead of by roads because there are no sidewalks, and that's how you communicate from one side to the other, on and on and on. It goes very far, as you can see. So uh, these streets are often long. Think of meandering streams. These streets are often long, um, but this canal street, street is canal here, uh, these canals are often very, very long and usually quite narrow. So this and the light, and the light that this creates with the humidity that comes out of these canals is this wonderful light of Venice that is kind of milky and romantic and it's especially beautiful at night when the fog drifts in and out of the canals and the light is weak and you feel you're alone centuries and centuries ago. Happy trails, travel responsibly.